So I wanted to make an important update video to the course about the dynamic rigid body movement in the game and how you can have the knockbacks be a lot more fluid. So let me show how this can look in game. You can move around pretty much just like before, but when you actually get hit by the knockback, you can see that it takes a second for the character to actually slow down. So the force is instantly applied, but the knockback lasts for more than just a single frame. So the way we achieve this is by only changing the movement on the player by using rigid body add force. So in the original videos, I also had a mechanic to slow down the player if you were to stop moving using linear interpolation on the velocity directly towards zero. But if you want this kind of smooth knockback to work well, I would recommend you remove those lines from the original code and instead use linear drag, increase this to an amount where when your character's walking around, it's not sliding too fast and it will slow your character down enough so that it doesn't just accelerate off the screen. You don't want a linear drag of zero because you would accelerate indefinitely by default. Another option you can add to your script if you want it to slow down even faster and move less when the player lets go of the input keys is to have a stop drag float that is different from your normal move drag value. So you can see here in the is moving boolean where whenever we set is moving, we change the animation to correspond with either the walk or animation cycles. We can also use that setter function to change the drag on the rigid body to the move drag or the stop drag. So these values control more or less how much friction there is on the character. And in this case, this is gonna mean that when you let go of the keyboard, the stop drag is gonna have more friction than the character would have when it's moving. Otherwise, you can just leave the linear drag set to an amount that you want to work on the character across time. So later, we come across the on hit function where the slime or other objects are going to deal damage and knockback force to the player. So you just want that to be set to RB add force knockback. So this vector two contains both the direction and the knockback amount. And we apply that as a impulse force because this only happens when the slime bumps into the player it's not being applied from frame to frame. So it's a single frame impulse force. And of course, as I discussed in some of the videos, to get the direction, we do collider transform position. This would be the player or the object that the slime collides into, minus the position of the slime, normalize the vector to make its magnitude one to get the direction, and then just multiply that by the knockback force number. So when you have your character set up like this and you're just purely relying on the linear drag, then you bump into the enemies and it is gonna be slowing your character purely with the linear drag and changing the velocity directly isn't going to mess around with your in-game physics. So I think this is just a much better solution and I'll include the updated versions of the final scripts in the course project. So that's basically it for the updates. Hopefully this helps make your in-game physics work a lot smoother.